Yes, guys, this metal garage, carport, car shelter, whatever you want to call it, only cost about $3,000 US, guys. And as you can see, guys, this thing is mint. It can withstand any amount of snow on the roof. There is no hidden fees like shipping. Doors are included. Foundation is even included in the price, guys. It's 20 feet by 20 feet, guys. Look how beautiful this thing is. And the whole entire thing, including the roof, the doors, every single thing you need to build this was purchased at Home Depot, guys. As you can see, guys, it fits two cars, no problem whatsoever. It also fits other things, ladders, wheelbarrows, whatever you got. You can store stuff up top. This thing is absolutely mint, guys. So in this video, I am actually gonna show you step-by-step step in ultra detail how to build one of these step-by-step, step, including the foundation that it sits on, every single part, so you can have yours looking like this, guys. And it's only gonna take you four to five days to build it start to finish, guys. Let's get into it right away, everybody. Okay, guys, step number one, figure out where you want this thing. So I got one, two, three, four sticks in. Those are gonna be the corners of it. Um, it's 20 feet this way, 20 feet this way, 19 feet right here, and 19 feet right there. The distance from that stick has to be the same to this stick as the distance from that one to that one, so you know everything's square. So I ran some strings as you can see. See what I mean? I ran a string like that, I ran a string like that, and like that, and like that. So I can take these posts out, because we're gonna be digging here. So I'm gonna pull all those out, leaving just the string. So our foundation is gonna be made from cinder blocks. There's gonna be one on each corner, one in the middle. See, I marked it out with paint. One in the middle there, one in the middle there, one in the middle there, and one in the middle there, guys. So step number one, guys, I am gonna remove those sticks, just leave the string and lay out my cinder blocks. Cinder blocks are cheap, guys, but they're very easy to get used on Craigslist or whatever. I got all these for free, guys. Perfectly good cinder blocks for this purpose. Step one, foundation. Okay, guys, cinder blocks are laid out. So we're gonna start on this corner. What you wanna do is you wanna dig too deep into the ground within the rope. So I'm gonna do this one and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, guys, so this took me about 15 minutes to do, as you can see. Um, it's almost two cinder blocks deep. Okay, let me show you the plan here. Okay, so the first like foot and a half down is mushy stuff. So if you put a garage on it, it's gonna go up and down, it could sink. But once you go like a foot and a half down, see it becomes rock hard down here. So all you gotta do is like level this out a bit. You could buy sand and fill it with sand and kind of level it. But for now, we're just gonna do that. You put your cinder blocks in this way. Like that. And like that. Well, that's all we're doing for now, guys. Okay, so there it is. You want it sticking out roughly about that much. Uh, you don't want it flush with the ground. You do want it sticking out a bit, as you can see. So now, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna do that to every single one. Should only take me about two and a half hours. Um, we're not fully finishing this yet because we might have to raise some, lower some, once we have them all done. So I'll see you guys in two and a half hours when every single one of these is dug out. And just in case I didn't show you, see it's all within the ropes. See what I mean? Okay, there we have it. I got them all buried just like I said I would. Check it out. Everything's looking pretty good. So now we gotta level all this out. How are we gonna do that? I got a whole bunch. I actually got 23 
of these two by six, 10 feet long. These are gonna be for the roof. So I got a whole bunch of these, but we're gonna use these to level all this out. So I'm gonna set this up right now. Okay, so now we're basically gonna go off of this corner, right? I got a level on here, pretty straightforward. And you're just gonna go around and you're gonna level everything off of that. So like that needs to go up a little bit, right? And then we'll level the next one, figure out if that needs to go up or down. Then we'll go that way, that way, whatever. Like I can level this whole thing in probably half an hour. How do you level it? Basically you just take the bricks out, add a little bit of dirt, stomp on it with your feet, put the cinder blocks back and that'll raise a little bit. You can use the shovel. Uh, if you need to lower it a little bit, pretty straightforward. You can, you know, tilt them this way, tilt them that way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, level all of these out right now, guys. Okay, just so there's no complications. See, grab a little bit of dirt. You could use sand, but dirt works too. You level it out a little bit like this. Grab your brick. There you go. Just like that, you lifted it a little bit, leveling it out. Okay guys, everything is super level. It did take about uh, two hours to set all this up. She is bang on, as you can see, all the, all the bricks are like level this way, this way. They're all lined up within the strings, as you can see, everything is perfect. Ah, that's 20 feet, both of these boards, right? Look how perfect it turned out. Right at the end there. Right at the end here. Absolutely perfect. So that is how you want it, guys. Everything is absolutely level, absolutely perfect. So now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these boards away and we're going to bury the cinder blocks just the way they were before let's do that right now here they are in the ground leveled and ready to be buried okay guys here we are all ready foundation is ready you should be able to put all the dirt back without any dirt being left over pack it all down which is what we did so that was one day guys one day to do the foundation now we're going to start framing it out Okay, so I got 88 two by fours that are eight feet long, and I got 23 two by sixes that are 10 feet long for the roof, guys. I also got a big box of uh, eight by three construction screws to put it all together. And I also got a whole bunch uh, of washers like this. See, they look like this. The reason I got these is because this garage is going to have the option of being completely disassembled um, and put onto a trailer if I ever decide I want to move or sell my house or something. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to do it in sections. I'm going to build one wall section here, one wall section here, one wall section there, one wall section there, there there the two front pieces for over top of the doors uh that i'm gonna just use the screws but when i'm joining the two sections together i am gonna put the washers in between each section so i have the ability to take it apart and then just take each section at a time yes the metal will have to come off and then the wood sections will come apart and can get loaded onto a trailer Okay guys, so the first wall we're gonna build is right here, this one. I want the side walls to be seven feet tall, seven feet tall on the sides. So, um, I also got one, two, three, four, and for the tops, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 10 foot long boards. They're two by fours, 10 foot long. Okay, so we're gonna put all the boards two feet apart on center, which, so you start off at the end like this, see? And then you got two feet right there. 
I made a line. And then from that line, two feet, I made a line. So the boards are gonna go on center, meaning like this, right on that line in the middle, and it's gonna be screwed in. I'm gonna make these boards, um, I got them over there. I'm gonna cut, have to cut them. I'm gonna make them just under seven feet tall. So like six feet, 10 inches, let's say. So I am going to need six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so six of these boards I am gonna cut to uh, six feet, 10 inches right here, guys. So I'm gonna mark six of them and cut it or actually i can cut 12 and then another 12 for this side so i'm gonna go ahead and cut all those right now i'll see you guys in a few okay so here's our first wall i mean how simple is that so all we're doing now is i got these two screws right and you're gonna put one there one there all the way through Right into this, you're gonna do two and two, 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 two. Same on the other side from the top, right on these lines that we made earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, guys. Okay, there it is all screwed together. Now we're just gonna repeat it three more times, guys. Okay, guys, there it is. Now we got four walls. Uh, one, two, three, four walls. What we're gonna do now is build these two walls. Let me go give you the measurement of those. Okay, so we're at the back of the garage. So this wall and this wall. So the width of it is going to be uh, 109 inches, which is nine feet, one inch. Uh, we're gonna build it the exact same height as the other ones and that width so i'm gonna go ahead and build two walls like that right now okay guys and just like that two more walls are built so now just so you guys know what's going on here so i built that wall and that wall but in between those two walls at the back i am going to have a four by four in there right in the middle four by four means four by four inches right four by four um and that is gonna go right in the middle of those two back walls four by four in the middle make sense guys okay moving on okay just before we move on guys i just want to point something out so when i built these walls same deal goes right two feet two feet two feet two feet and then if your wall is a little bit shorter you just put put it there you don't try to do any kind of math or anything so just wanted to cover that okay so i'll show you what we're doing next so we got this wall built this wall built this wall built then there's going to be a four by four then we got this wall this wall and this wall right so now we're gonna have a four by four on this beam as well, or on this piece of cinder block right here like this, right? So what we're gonna make now is we're gonna make these walls here, like this wall and this wall, but we're only making a top little slit, right? Because the cars have to drive in. So we're gonna make a slit here, a slit here, in my case, I am gonna make them 13 inches, including the top and the bottom board. So just over a foot. And the width of them, right, is gonna be the exact same as the back ones, uh, 109 inches, right? So I'm gonna make them just these, like the wall is gonna be here and here, 13 inches high. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those two walls now See you guys in an hour. Okay, so there it is. I built one. So obviously that's going to be up top. Um, so let's add that 
to the pile and we're gonna build another one guys and yes uh i should have bought two longer boards which i didn't so i've just been extending them like that because i don't want to go to the hardware store so that is one mistake that i have made guys because making mistakes is human so don't feel bad if you make mistakes guys okay there it is we got two of those made everything is ready so what we're gonna do now guys is we're actually gonna stand this whole structure up guys and we're gonna use screws with these washers guys so that way later if we need to we can take this whole thing apart uh load it onto a flatbed just like that and take it wherever we want if we ever need to move it guys also these type of dewalt clamps guys great clamps these will help you hold the walls together while you're screwing it together Just like that, boys and girls. And of course, it started raining right when I was doing that. Okay, guys, let's get making of the doors areas. So what we're going to do is I want the doors to be 88 inches wide. So 88 inches, 88 inches, meaning we have to make two little walls. One there, one there, and one there, and one there. And we're going to make them 10.5 inches basically it's just some math guys so i'm gonna go ahead and build those guys okay guys there's the pieces i was talking about and as you can see i've already installed one so they're just gonna go on like this guys so i'm gonna put one there and one there and one there and all of this guys has been done with this amazing mastercraft drill guys great product guys get one okay guys and just like that 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 and that is installed so let me show you what we're doing next here so what i did is i marked the halfway point between there and there as you can see so that's the halfway point so all the way around see we're adding boards just like this see i already got some made see i marked it and we're just gonna go around and screw them in just like that and we're gonna go all the way around and we're even gonna do it here and there and there all the way around so see you guys in about an hour i'm gonna go ahead and do all that right now all right guys well there it is as you can see installed so i just put these up temporarily as you can see right here see i put that one there and one there that is just there so nothing falls over because we're moving on to the roof now once the walls are up uh that's where the strength comes from is the walls being screwed on any construction that's uh just timber like this uh is a little wobbly until you put the walls on so that's those are gonna be there till the walls come guys okay let's move on to the roof okay so for the roof i got a two by ten inches by ten feet two by ten inches by ten feet and then i have a four by four which is eight feet tall just like this one and the one in the end so this is canada we get extreme amounts of snow we can even get six feet of wet snow no problem so we need to handle the weight here guys so we're gonna have a beam in the middle which is that beam there you see that and then we're gonna run those two we're gonna run the 10 this way and this way just stand them up on top so i'm gonna set that up and show you guys what that looks like 
Okay, guys, there it is, as you can see, just like that. So I just use those screws and I put them in like this at angles and like this. I did the same thing at the end there and there. And I did the same thing here, as you can see. See, it's just sitting in the middle, just like that. Really nothing to it, guys. This is gonna be super strong. Okay, so now I got four of these boards. These are two by six by 10. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put four of them, one there, one there, one there and one over there, right? But for now, we're just gonna put the one on right here temporarily, guys. So let me put that on and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so there it is attached just uh, temporarily. So see, I used uh, these with the washers so it can be dismantled at a later time. But anyways, so what we're gonna do now is I got a whole bunch of these boards here. Um, six by two by six by 10 right so that board we're just gonna put it right there like as a roof right but we're gonna screw it just on the outside here on the outside there and on the outside there to determine how we want it so i'm gonna go ahead and put that on and i'll show you what's next guys once i got that on okay so just temporarily see i added a board here with this type of board like I added this and this see and then over here I added a little board like that with a screw sticking out get it so now I can by myself take this long board and I'll just be able to place it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so now that board so we're gonna go up here guys i want to show you guys exactly what i'm doing to figure out these angles right so we're gonna take this board see you slide it over so you see the end of it right slide it in until this corner lines up with this corner there it is now we take a pencil You draw a line there. Now we're gonna go over there. Here we are guys, as you can see, and we're gonna draw a line right there. We're gonna put a little arrow here so we know this is the inner corner. Okay, let's take this down. Okay, so now using one of these type of saws, we are gonna cut exactly on the line there and exactly on the line there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, there it is cut. So now we're gonna place that in there, but we're not gonna put it on this anymore. We're actually gonna put it like where it's supposed to go. Let's see how she fits. Okay, so as you can see, it fits absolutely perfect. We don't have to do anything here and it fits perfect here. Uh, the only problem is this board is a little bit like too tall now, as you can see, can you see that? So I'll get to that after, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this down and we're gonna trace it onto other boards and we're gonna make 11 of those exactly the same guys. So I'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna make 11 of these exactly the same. Okay guys, there they are all cut, ready to be installed, so now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. And don't assume that you can just cut all of them. This could be out, you know, a quarter inch or something. So just to save yourself the headache, just do the exact same thing on this side and make 11 of those guys. So I'll see you guys in an hour. I'm going to be making these now. Okay, guys. So there we have it. This side is ready now. So what we are doing next, guys, is I got some uh, two by four by eight, right? Eight feet. So what we're doing with those guys is right onto this beam here, right? We're gonna attach the eight foot one, like in the middle roughly, right there. 
and then whatever is left we're going to attach as well cutting off the ends flush right um pretty straightforward and we're going to do it right at the bottom so it's flush with the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i will show you what that looks like we're going to do it on this side and we're also going to do it on this side okay there it is on as you can see see what i did just like that on all the way zoom in on it see what i mean so that's looking nice and sturdy i did that on both sides okay so now i got these ultra long screws with a washer okay let me go up there to that spot okay so now see on each one of these spots there and there like there and there see look how long these are so we're gonna screw these in right into this board and go right into there just to reinforce it we're gonna do two on each side so i'm gonna go ahead and do that guys and then we're moving on okay so that is done so now what we gotta do is we're gonna put this thing right there we have one more important step to do to to these sideboards that one and that one so i'm gonna take that and put it right there okay so there it is so now we're gonna focus on that little corner there i'm gonna go over there right now okay so we are up here so as you can see the problem is see this slopes down and this doesn't see what i mean believe it or not that will actually like kind of warp the roof when we put it on so we're gonna have to cut this so all you do is you take a board like this so you put it on there and then you take a pencil and we're gonna mark see just that one little piece sticking out i don't have two hands so i'm gonna mark it off camera and then i'll show you guys okay so there it is marked see so we're gonna have to cut a little piece off of this board that board that's gonna go there that one there and the one that's gonna go there which isn't there yet and we're gonna have to do that on a table saw guys so let's go do that right now okay guys so as you can see if you don't know what you're doing with a table saw get some help check it out so we're gonna do that four or three more times so we have four one two three four see you guys in 15 minutes okay the first one is on so i just want to show you guys what i'm doing here washer screw washer screw washer screw washer screw but i am leaving a little bit of space here uh just just basically like that so two 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 so she's nice and sturdy so i'm gonna go ahead and do that one and the other two now okay so i got those four on just the way i said i was gonna so now the only thing is yeah i got them on but there is a small chance when you're putting these on you might have to like unscrew it and adjust it a tiny bit just to, to make everything fit good but what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put this one in here and i'm gonna put that one in there and just show you guys okay so i put the one on i'll tell you what to do next now let me go up into that corner okay so see what i mean look how nice that turned out first of all so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna put two screws with washers there and over there let me go over there okay and right here we're gonna also put two screws right here uh we're not gonna use washers though but we're not gonna suck them in so they sink into the wood we're just gonna put them in so if we ever need to we can remove them so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna install all of these on that side first okay and we're gonna put them right on top of these ones get it and over there i don't know if you can see that yes you can 
see I marked out right there two feet two feet two feet so so they will line up with uh, with these right so I'm gonna go ahead and install all 11 on this side right now guys I'll see you in a few minutes well probably like an hour okay see I got all these installed just like I said everything is looking great okay so now I'm gonna start on the other side I'll put a few up and I'll just show you how to screw them in up top there on the outside you're gonna screw them in the same way we screwed in these ones just like that guys okay let's do it okay so I got that one on so I'm gonna go up top there and show you how I attach it okay so on these ones see I'm just gonna take some deck screws they're gonna go in one there one there at an angle one there one there see and they're just gonna go all the way through like this so that's pretty straightforward okay I'm gonna go and put all these on now okay and that is done as you can see it looks very very nice so now we're gonna strap it for the roof so what we need is 16 uh, 2 by 4 by 10s guys and we're gonna strap them up top let me show you okay so I put one down so we're gonna go you know one two three four five six seven eight that's what the roof will sit on uh, they're gonna be two and a half feet apart pretty straightforward screwed down to each one of those so the only thing you got to watch out for is when you put this down see I temporarily put those there you want this to be like that see just like that you don't want it sticking out like this like sticking out past because then your walls aren't gonna work so you want it just like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and put all these on right now okay so there it is I actually ended up putting five of them one two three four five basically they're evenly spaced out except for that one there is a little bit closer for the cap uh, you'll understand that later when we get to, to wrapping it with metal okay so now let's go down okay so uh, we got very little woodworking left here uh, we're gonna take a break from woodworking because it's supposed to rain tonight and it's getting below zero below freezing and I don't want the ground to freeze on me so what I have to do guys is I actually ordered all the metal for this already it is on its way so I want the metal when I put it on the walls the front the back I want it to go about four inches into the ground so what I got to do is I'm gonna dig out a little trench all the way around this thing I'm gonna do that a little bit here and I'll show you guys what I mean in a second okay that literally took like four minutes see this is what I'm doing just a just a trench right like just a trench so when I put the metal on the sides here see the metal is gonna go in like this and then I'm gonna bury it that'll prevent you know from stuff blowing underneath and it'll keep it kind of steady it won't move right so I'm gonna go ahead and dig all the way around before the ground freezes here hopefully it doesn't freeze anytime soon guys I'll see you guys in about an hour okay just like that it is the next day but it only took me an hour to dig it all around check it out so I got about four or five inches all the way down okay guys so next what we got to do is I already made two pieces like this see what we're gonna do this will all make sense very very shortly so we're gonna go like this see one screw there one screw there see and we're gonna put one there one there and we're gonna do the same thing on each corner it's all gonna make sense guys it's in order to attach the corner piece see it it's got to be 
like this on both. Makes sense, not like that, because then there's nothing to attach it to. So that's gonna take me literally five minutes. I'm gonna do all five corners. See you guys soon. Okay, all four corners are done. Really, honestly, nothing to it. So that is done. So now, uh, the doorways, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna put a board there, 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 and there. And same thing on the other door. It's not a structural thing. It's just to attach all the trim pieces. That's all it's for, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and that. Take a good look at it, and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. Boom, and there it is uh, installed. So see, I got that, that, and that, 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 and that. So now it's beefier to attach stuff. Okay, let's move on. Okay guys, as far as wood goes, we got two more wood related things to do. So I got lots of scrap pieces. So what I gotta do now guys is up there, see those spaces in between? I just have to fill those, but not on every single board, just on the outside edge and the other edge on the other outside. See up here guys, so not every single board, just the outside one and the other outside one. I'm gonna use scrap pieces. So you're just gonna go like this, screw it down, one, two. See, just like that. That's all I'm gonna do, guys. So let me quickly do that. I'm gonna use these up. Uh, it doesn't have to be right perfect to the edge. This is just so the roof doesn't cave down on the edge uh, when there's heavy snow. That's the only reason. It's not gonna do it there, but on the edge it could. So. You could even just go like this. That would even do it. I might even do that. I haven't decided yet. See you guys in about 20 minutes when I do both sides. Okay guys, there it is. Done, just like I said. So, we are basically down to just the doors. And yes, I got 16 foot pieces of uh, two by fours, you know, two by four by 16 for the rafters. The only problem is guys, I'm gonna get to that later because I actually need a buddy for that to hold it, but we're gonna install those in here. But we're gonna do that later guys, because like I said, I need somebody to help me and nobody is here right now. So we are actually gonna move on to the metal work guys. Okay guys, we're moving on to the metal. So, we are gonna do the metal around the doors first in white because we're gonna make everything match my house. It's gonna be the same color with white corners, white around the doors. So this is what I got at Home Depot. Angle, flashing, two inches by two inches, white on the uh, outside. They're 10 feet long. They're $10 Canadian each, which is about $6 American around there. So I got a whole bunch of these. See, it just looks like that. Super, super easy. All you do with this to cut it, we are just going to use uh, these type of snips. Um, let's just get into it. Super easy stuff, guys. Okay, guys. So using these snips, see, I made my first piece. How simple is that? I just bent that, cut that there, figured out the length, right? So that is simply gonna go up there. Uh, let's, let's go put it on. See, just like this. Anything that's visible is gonna be nice metal. See, like that, and like that. And then what we're gonna do is just use a couple screws, not over here, because you are gonna see a part of it, but up top here, just a couple drywall screws to keep it in place. Okay, so there it is installed. See, that's what a drywall screw looks like. Just a little screw like that. You can get them at any hardware store. See, we're just gonna go like that, boom. Like maybe like one, two, three, four, five screws per thing. That's it. And that looks nice, see? Anything that's visible, like the door is gonna be like up to here. See, you're, all, you're not gonna see any of the wood. You're only gonna see metal, guys. 
See, take a good look at that. See, that's how I did that. Over here. See, just like that. Might even put a screw there. Anyways, okay, let me screw this on and show you the next pieces. Okay, so there's the top piece. Now we're gonna make this piece. So obviously figure out how long you need it to be and give it a cut. See, I marked it with a pencil. Boom. Cuts so easy. Just like that. There you go. How easy is that? Okay, now we just take our wonderful piece here. See, it's just going to go like this at the bottom. And like this up here. Boom. A couple screws. And at the bottom, just so you know what's going on, it's going to be like this. See, so when you're weed whacking, you're not going to hit that. Yeah, there's going to be a little gap there. Just like that. That is okay. It's all going to make sense later, guys. Don't worry about that. Okay, let me screw that on. Okay, guys. I think uh, this and this is pretty straightforward, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And I'm going to do that. And I am going to take this off. It's not windy. Uh, because we are going to put the front on today. Which will make everything super sturdy. Okay, I'm going to do that and that. See you guys in 20 minutes. Okay guys, check that out. That looks amazing. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a piece of drip edge on top there and on top there. Uh, this is what it looks like. I am using metal drip edge. So I bought two of these pieces. They were like $12 Canadian each. Uh, you know, something like eight bucks American. So I got two of them, see? Just like that, that's what it looks like. It's white on the outside that you're gonna see. And it's just gonna go on like this and then the water is gonna drip over top of the door. Um, so we just gotta line them up there. I'm gonna show you how to cut this. There is a special way to cut this. Um, this is the J channel, I will get to that. Uh, we're gonna use the J channel to cut it. I'll just show you, hang on. Okay, that's the drip edge, that's the J channel. So if it goes like this, see, that's going to be on the wall like that, right? So what you got to do is, see that? You got to cut this out just like this. Just a little bit like that. See, like that. You got to cut a little square out like that on the edge. You don't want this to go into it, but... You're gonna have to put a, you're gonna have to slide the wall through this. It's all gonna make sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. See guys, just like that, I cut it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it up there, cut the other side the same way and I'll show you like how I put it on. Pretty straightforward. Okay guys, so the J channel, I will get to that. I will explain what that is. So I cut a little piece out of it. So you got to determine, see, this is what I did. I attached a board there and a board there, see? So that way, the drip edge, see, when I put this on like so, I know, see, I want it like that. See, I want there to be like a space, see, right there like that. And when the door opens, right, I don't want the door hitting that. So that's why the board's there. Get it? Makes sense, and then I'm just gonna screw it in, right? Uh, so the other thing is, I cut a little piece off of the J channel, right? And I don't want it like this. I want it about the thickness of that over, like that. See? That's where I'm gonna want it. So I'm gonna figure all that out. See, like that. And that's where that's gonna go. That's right, so then on the other side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go like that. See, and then I'll know where to cut this. Pretty straightforward. I think so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut and attach the drip edge, guys. And then we'll explain the J channel. 
Okay, see I screwed it in just like that. Boom. Little cut out there. I moved these to have it straight, but these can come out now because this is screwed in. Pretty straightforward. See, did the same thing over here. Made that little cut out. You can actually leave it like this. I cut the other one off, but you can leave it like that. Okay, let's take those off and move on to the J channel, which I will explain right now. Okay guys, so here's the J channel. So this is vinyl. I'm not using the metal stuff. I actually prefer this because if you hit it with a wheelbarrow or something or a shovel by accident, it doesn't dent it. Basically nothing happens to it. This is the same stuff you use on vinyl siding like around the windows, right? So you can get 12 feet of this for super cheap. See, it's flexible. So I got two of these, which will be enough for one, two, three, four. J channel for vinyl siding, guys. So I'm gonna cut this to length and put it on. I'll just show you how to put it on and I'll cut it and I'll show you. You just cut it with these. Same thing you cut the metal with. Okay, see I lined it up. And see I just drew a little line at an angle, just like that. And that is where I'm gonna cut this stuff. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so I got it on. See, just like that. Look how nice that looks. So obviously the metal is gonna go on here and it's gonna go, it's gonna tuck under this, right? So the way you put this on guys is you can use roofing nails or you can use drywall screws like I did. The only thing is you don't suck them in all the way. This needs to have, see like movement a little bit. I didn't put too many. I put like one, two, three, four, five. And it's got to have a little bit of movement because when it's hot outside, if you just bolt this down, it expands, it contracts, and it'll warp. So it's got to have, so you think it's not even on good, but that's how it's got to be. See, look. Once the metal's on, it'll push on it and prevent it from moving around, but it's got to be just loose. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do that side. And I'm gonna do this whole thing. I'll see you guys soon. Oh yeah, and the bottom. See, I did the same thing. Just a tiny bit past the wood so you don't see the wood. Just like that, guys. Okay, let's move on. All right, both doors are done, guys. Look how mint that looks. Okay, guess what? We're moving on to putting the metal on the outside of the garage. We are at that point. Check it out, guys. Here is all the beautiful metal, guys. I got it all. That's for the doors. That's for the sides. Everything is cut to fit. I'll show you exactly how this works. Uh, I paid $2,600 for all the metal Canadian, which is like just under two grand American, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna start unloading this and setting it up. Okay guys, so I'm using the white for the doors. So now, uh, here it is, right? So this is basically metal for roofing. Uh, this stuff here is called Americana. Um, it's a good price. The color is charcoal. So the way you get this stuff is, it comes three feet wide, and then I believe it's around $6 for each foot. Canadian, so if you're in the States, it's probably gonna be like $4 a foot or something. So if you take a measuring tape to this, see it is exactly three feet, exactly. Okay, hold on a sec, guys. See what I mean? Exactly three feet from there to there. It's exactly three feet, and then the next piece overlaps this. So each piece covers exactly three feet. So how did I figure out how much metal I need and what size pieces? Very simple. So keep in mind, my uh, ground is not level. It's like this, it slopes away from the house. So these pieces are gonna be shorter than like the other pieces, for example. That's about the only difference that you might have. So basically, let me show you my little book here, what I did. So here is the front of the garage. So I basically, you always start in the middle. So I got one piece, see? 
and then I got two smaller pieces, two smaller pieces, and then two long pieces for the ends, right? So I basically measured that three feet wide, and then I wrote everything down. It's, it's pretty simple, right? So there's my front, there's my back, there's my one wall, there's my other wall, and then there's my roof. I mean, you gotta measure it, and you want the roof pieces to stick out maybe an inch, inch and a half, there and there. And that is about it, guys. So uh, I'm gonna start putting the front on. It's pretty straightforward. I'll explain everything to you. Okay, so just the way they package this, my first seven pieces happen to be the first seven pieces for this wall. So I'm gonna start on this wall, guys. So what you gotta do is find the center and we're gonna put it on right here. Our first piece is gonna go right there. Um, okay, let's do that. Okay, guys, the piece is ready to go on. So I temporarily put these up. So this basically goes up to it and it doesn't go past it. You don't want it sticking out past the wood. It's not gonna work if it does. So now that is the center. That's where you start and on this, the center would be since this part gets covered by the next piece the center is this that is the center guys so i'm going to put that there and screw it in with these special screws guys i got 500 of these so these are inch and a half screws and these have a little rubber thing on them there see they look like this and these are literally designed for these americana roofing tiles so right here is some instructions on all the different types of metal roofing you can get and how to bolt it down. In our case, see, this is ours. But that is for a roof application. Since we're uh, putting it on the sides as well, we're actually going to put it right in here, not on these, just for the sides. And then when we're doing the roof, we're going to put it right on the peaks of these. That's what I am doing, guys. Okay, guys, the first piece is on the first piece is the most important part you got to make sure it's level right so i got it level um it's right up to those two things where do you put the bolts see i put them see that two by four there so you get one one two one then there's that two by four that goes across same thing one one two one and then there's the bottom one same thing one one two and one guys pretty straightforward so now we can put on our pieces going this way and our pieces going this way going off of this very very straightforward so on this side it's just going to go underneath and on this side with the lip here it's going to go over top make sense i think so okay i might have to release these three screws to be able to tuck under there. I'm gonna put this piece on guys and this piece and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay guys, it's going super well as you can see. Everything is going great. See, I got that in the ground so then we're just gonna bury it after. So now, if you're struggling because I am doing this by myself. See, I got just uh, like a rope here with a hook on it and you put this underneath see and then you can lift it with one hand adjust the height and screw in your screws right and i am also using a chalk line to get the screws perfect that part is important you want the screws to look like they're like factory in a row so it looks nice okay guys i'm gonna put that on put a few more on till we get close to the corners and I'll show you what to do on the corners. All right, so this is where we are now. So let's do all four corners, guys. So what am I using for corner pieces? Believe it or not, vinyl siding, quarter corner pieces, just like what we have here on a vinyl siding house, see? The That's good stuff, guys. The good stuff. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. I got white. You can get these in metal, but like I said, if you bump it with a shovel or something, it dents right away. These vinyl ones, they're way more resistant to getting damaged. 
So let's put it on the corner, guys. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the same way we put on the J channel. The only thing I changed, guys, is I ended up using the same old washers here. Uh, I figured that way it's more like a roofing nail. So I'm gonna put that on the corner here, guys, and I'll show you what that looks like, guys. Pretty straightforward. Okay, guys, pretty straightforward here. You just put this on like so. Making it just go a tiny little bit past the wood. Just like that. Drywall screw with a washer, guys. Okay, and same thing. You got to bring it back. It has to move. Otherwise, when it's hot or cold, it's going to work. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them probably about a foot apart from each other. Attach this whole thing. Okay guys, so I got this corner on, see? Just like that. When we're weed whacking the grass, you don't wanna hit that plastic stuff, so I got it just where the wood is. See, just like that. Um, so I got this on, as you can see. I got that corner on, as you can see. So now what I'm gonna do, guys, is on this side, I'm gonna take my metal and I'm gonna put this wall on the exact same way into the ground and I'm gonna put those two corners on. So I'll see you guys in about an hour, hour and a half, and then I will show you what to do with those corners, guys. All right, every corner is on. I actually already did it there. Um, and the back corner is on. So now, okay, so how to cut this, right? So there it is, it's obviously sticking out. So what you gotta do is, let's go up here. See, I already marked it. So you gotta mark it perfect with the roof I just used a little board I went like this see and I traced it and then I went like this and I traced it see so now I know where to cut this very easy to cut guys best way to cut vinyl siding and metal is just a cut off disc like this and a hand grinder you just cut it off so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that pretty straightforward guys okay check it out anyways i'm gonna need both my hands for this guys okay here it is see just like that and like that that is how you want that guys Okay, we're gonna make this piece now. I'll show you how to cut that. Okay, so basically, all you wanna do is, see over here, you want the piece to slide in, not all the way, because then it will warp things. It's gotta have a little bit of space. Quarter inch should do it. And then you go over here. You know what's gonna go over top of this hump. So we're looking at exactly 29 inches guys so now you take your sheet put it on the ground okay then you grab your sheet make sure you're cutting the right side boom 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 29 see measure out the other side grab a, a long board or something put it down a sharpie and draw a line so i'm gonna do that right now line is drawn and now to cut it we're using the exact same thing guys let's do it all right let's see if she fits okay look at that guys fits perfect so obviously screw it in and make sure you got a little bit of space here like we do look at that look how nice and professional that looks guys okay i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna screw that together that corner the other side and i already did that so i'm gonna get both sides finished let's do it all right guys one side done other side also done guys so I've been getting rain. I haven't been getting the best weather. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is 
before I do the front and the back, I'm actually, I'm gonna bury this hole. This side hole, see, look at that. I'm gonna bury it there and I'm gonna bury this side, guys. So I'm gonna do that and I think that's gonna be it for today and then I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you how to do all this. Okay, guys, it is the next day. Uh, check it out, I buried everything. Look how nice that looks. That looks awesome. Okay, so now um, I think we're gonna do the back. So I laid out all my pieces for the back. I laid out all my pieces for the front. So let me show you in my book. Okay, so here is the back, as you can see. There's all my metal for the back. Okay, let's go to the back. Okay, here they are, pre-cut to the lengths that I wanted. So now we're gonna do the same thing we did on the sides. We're gonna start with the middle piece, we're gonna attach it, and then we're gonna attach all the other pieces all the way to the ends. We're gonna cut the ends the exact same way. The only thing we're doing different here is up top, you want all of it to be sticking above. Like we're gonna be cutting it later. So you want every single piece to be sticking a little bit over the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these on. You've already seen how to do that, except it's gonna be sticking out on top. So I'll see you guys in an hour or two when this whole side is on. All right, guys, check that out. How awesome does that look? So I buried the dirt back. Okay, so now we have to cut this. So we're actually gonna go inside of the carport. Looking pretty good, guys. So yes, I'm also gonna grab a shovel and I'm gonna fill the dirt on the inside. So I'll do that, don't worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna climb up there. Okay, so here we are up top, as you can see. So I took a Sharpie and I drew a line. So all we gotta do now is we gotta grab this angle grinder and we're basically gonna, at an angle like this, cut this. Pretty straightforward, right? The only thing we gotta do is make sure that when it's cut, none of it is higher than the wood. So it has to be just a little bit lower than the wood, that amount. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not gonna see any of that uh, later when we cut it. So. I don't think I need to show me cutting that, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that. And I'm gonna cut the other side, guys. Everything that's hanging out. All right, there it is cut. That is ready. Okay, let's go to the front. All right, let's start covering up the front. So there really isn't much to it. So there is my front design. See, I got a piece there and then I got three foot pieces two and a half, and then eight and a half, right? Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's start with this middle piece, guys. So I got the side, right, side, those two, those two, the middle, the other two, and then the end piece. So we're gonna start with this one. Obviously, we gotta cut it so it slides in behind the J channels here. Uh, on the J channels, it's the same thing as over here with these corner pieces. They can't go all the way. They gotta go in behind this, right? But not be touching. So there's room for expansion and stuff. So it's the exact same thing on the J channel. There's lots of room for air, guys, because the J channel hides everything. Okay, so I'll give you some ideas of how to quickly measure this out so it makes it easier for you. Anytime you buy a whole bunch of roofing stuff, you always get extra pieces. So I got a few extra pieces here. So we're gonna use this piece here. Uh, we're gonna place it there to give us an idea of this cutout and that kind of stuff. Okay, this is a little hard to record. See, so I got the piece on here. So I put black lines, see, on the wood. Black line there, black line there. Did the same thing on that side, see? So I know where center is, see what I mean? It's right in the middle. Also, right where the J channel starts, see? I put a little line, 
and I put a little line. Okay, so let's take this piece off. Okay, so there is the big piece that's gonna go there. On top of it, I laid the little piece we uh, used as like a template or whatever to make this easier. So now, check it out. See, you got those little lines, see? Remember we made those little lines? So all I gotta do now is go like this, go like this. See how easy that is? And that's where I'm gonna cut it. And then I just gotta run that line all the way down, right? And I'll be cutting that away on the other side I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go like this. Boom. So I'm gonna cut that, and I'm gonna go this way, and I'm gonna extend that line all the way from there to there, perfectly straight, right? I can even use this thing. I can move this over there, make two little dashes, and then use my level to draw the lines. And then I'm gonna cut this out and that out. And that piece should fit right in there, guys. So I think that gives you some ideas of how to cut this stuff without making mistakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make those lines and I'm gonna cut this out. See you guys in five minutes. Boom! And just like that, we got a nice piece made, guys nothing to it as you can see okay let's slide this thing in there and yeah see i got the nice black lines there so i know exactly where to put it so it's center everything's good to go guys hey why don't you guys throw me a subscription by the way i really do need them how's that Okay, so I'm gonna screw that in the same way I screwed everything else in, right? I'm gonna use uh, that two by four, the middle one and the bottom one, um, and that is it. Later, when I'm done both sides, I am gonna run screws this way and this way on both sides. That will really reinforce this whole thing. So I'm gonna screw that in, then I'm gonna put in the one little piece the other little piece, one there, one there, pretty straightforward, guys. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys when I get to the end pieces here. So I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. All right, guys, check it out. So I ended up putting up screws here as well. There, there. It's super solid now. This thing has zero movement already. Okay, let's do these two pieces now. So obviously I got this here so obviously measure 10 times and cut once so you know i'm gonna measure the height and then i'm gonna measure this to figure out where i gotta cut this down here pretty straightforward and i can't believe it but the sun came out guys unreal okay so i'm gonna make that piece right now guys okay it is hard to see but as you can see See, I got it marked out. I got it marked out there. Um, let's cut it out, guys. Nothing to it. All right, there it is. Okay, let's put that onto that. I'm obviously gonna make the other piece off camera. So I'll see you guys when the whole front is done. All right, guys, there it is, looking super nice. So now we're gonna cut the tops. You've already seen that. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. All right, guys, how mint is this? That looks beautiful. Next, guys, we're moving on to the doors. We are gonna make barn style doors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one door right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then we're gonna make the second door together, guys. Okay, guys, I am building the door actually, both doors. So we're gonna have two swinging doors on each so i had to buy 12 more two by fours guys pretty straightforward 
So the height of the doors is gonna be basically from here with a quarter inch gap, right? Basically to the bottom of the white. So I ordered five pieces of the, of the same metal that we used the whole time, but I got it in white. So I got it the appropriate height, right? And they're always three feet wide. So I got five of them, should be able to do both doors, right? So now, the space from here to here is 88 inches, guys. 88 inches. So obviously half of that would be 44 and 44, like these pieces, right? But what you got to do is you got to take away a quarter of an inch also for room for hinges. So these are basically 44 inches minus um, one quarter of an inch, right? So I just made that pretty straightforward. I cut them at 45 degree angles. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to grab some of these construction screws, right? And like at an angle, I'm going to screw them in like that to connect all this together. And yeah, they're going to seem wobbly at first, but once you screw the metal onto these, they become super solid, guys, like no issues. So I'm going to go ahead and screw all four of these together right now using these. See you guys in five minutes. Okay, so I got all four screwed together, as you can tell. So now what I'm going to do, just to reinforce it a little bit more, I'm going to run a two by four, just across on each one, right in the middle, just like that. That's how you do it. Problem solved. Okay, guys, here we have our doors. One door, second door, right? Pretty straightforward as far as I'm concerned. See, there they are. So now what you want to do is, see, we got our metal. So what I'm going to do is uh, this side of the metal, see, that's, that's sticking out on. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to screw it on. And then when I do that door, I'm going to basically have this turned around. So these meet up. Okay, let me place that on there and show you. Okay, see, so I got it on. So what I'm doing is, um, see where the wood ends here? So we're just gonna slide this over, just like this. Okay, let me go over here. So this is the top of all the doors. The top is what's important here. So we're gonna go like this. And you're just gonna go, so you don't want it flush. You want this to be just a little bit See, like that. That's what you want there. And then as far as the top, um, you want to do the same thing. You want it the same amount. See, look. Sticking out. See, just like that. So that is set pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my screws. And I'm going to, you know, screw it in. Screw it in. Screw it in. I might put a screw there and there because the strength comes from the metal. And then obviously we're gonna have to, uh, you know, tuck in the next piece under here, um, screw it in and everything and cut it, right? And we're gonna cut it in a way so it's basically perfectly straight with the wood. Uh, you can have it out a tiny bit same thing we did over here and in the areas where the hinges are if we need to we'll cut out little uh, indentations in the metal for the hinges i'll get to that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna i'm gonna screw all of these on guys if anything complicated happens i'll, I'll show you stuff okay i just gotta re-explain something so yes see we got this one sticking out like, let's say a quarter inch or whatever. See, like that? But the other door, like the partner door of this door, we are going to put it perfectly straight with the wood. Get it? So that way, this door closes. And then when this one closes, this little lip that's hanging out is going to go just over top of this door. Get it? So that way there's no gap. I hope I'm explaining that. 
Okay, now I'm gonna screw these on. Okay guys, it is going good. It is starting to get dark, unfortunately. But just so you know, I am using the same screws, inch and a half, that I was using on everything else. The only thing is I'm using white ones. So I bought a hundred of these. Should be just enough for the doors. I am also using a chalk line, see, to get the screws perfectly straight. So I'm doing a row there, row there, row there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put these on now. Okay, so here we have two of the doors, right? The right door, the left door. So now I'm gonna take this sheet here, pretty straightforward, yeah, and screwed it. We're gonna tuck it under, and then whatever's sticking out, we're gonna get a Sharpie and at the back, we're gonna mark it, then we're gonna pull it back off, cut it with the grinder. Pretty straightforward, guys. So I'm gonna do that to all four doors and then we'll have perfectly good rectangular doors. Okay guys, four doors are done. So now what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna install hinges. Two hinges there, two there, two there, and two there. So I just got four hinges like this, two per door, uh, three inch hinges. They were on sale at Home Depot. Right, just plain Jane door hinges. So obviously I'm gonna get a measuring tape and I'm gonna measure the same lengths on all the doors so everything matches and I'm gonna mark it out with a pencil. Let's start with that. Okay, so I marked out all the hinges. I did them eight inches from the top of the wood here. So see, there's my hinge. See, I marked it there and I marked it there. So now I'm gonna grab my snips here. I'm just gonna do two little cuts See, like that, and like that. See those two little cuts? And then all you do is you grab a hammer, see, and you bend this. See, just like that. And now, we attach our hinge. Get it, and we're gonna make sure that they're all out, you know, the same amount. Okay, let me lift this up. Okay, so there it is, right? So I'm gonna go like this. Just like that, and we're gonna screw it into the wood here, guys. Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all the doors. See you guys soon. Okay, so I got the hinges on just the way I said I was gonna, as you can see. So that looks great. So now, I am actually fitting the doors, guys. So I'm doing this all by myself. And yeah, there's mud everywhere, which isn't helping the situation. But see, what I did is I just used a couple car jacks, lifted the door up to the top, a uh, couple shims. So there's a little gap here, right? And then on the inside, guys, see, I got, well, let me show you on the outside. So I got these hinges lined up. See, like that. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. So now all I gotta do is on the inside here, see? I gotta get in here with the pencil and I gotta mark like where the hinges go exactly. See, like that and the back of it. So now, I know it's just gotta go right up to there. See, like that. So I gotta do that there at the bottom. I mean, you should have a buddy for this, which I don't. But I'm gonna go ahead, guys, and I'm gonna put that on, put this on, put those two doors on. And then if something's uneven, I'll show you how to like shim it to even it out a little bit. Okay, the doors are installed. Look how awesome these look, guys. They look incredible. Boom, look at that. See, so this closes. And then this one, see, look, just fits. The wood's just touching. Boom, look at that. Nice closed, good fit, guys. I do gotta make some kind of lock because the wind keep, keeps catching it here. So I'm gonna put a bench in front of it for now. 
Okay, so in my case, it just worked out perfect, but if you need it to, underneath the hinges here, those little washers that we've been uh, using earlier, you could take those little washers and you could like add one or two, you know, to fine tune these doors, which I didn't have to do because this thing is super straight, guys. Like literally within a quarter of an inch. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna work on these doors a little bit more. Okay, so I purchased six one by threes. Um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these. Okay, so I cut these up, right? So you'll notice, see that there's gaps, right? Like when the door closes. Uh, I put this here temporarily, that's coming off. So now what I'm gonna do is, see we're gonna grab these and they're just gonna go on just like this, see? So then when the door closes, see? It kind of closes right up to that. That way, one, there's no gap, and two, uh, the doors, when you close them, they won't go inwards, right? So I'll take this thing off, and there's gonna be one up here too as well. Pretty straightforward, right? And I'm just gonna use uh, screws to screw it in. Nothing to it, guys. So here it is without it. Let me uh, do both right now, and I'll show you in a second with these. Okay, so here it is, just like I said. See how much better that looks? So now when the door closes, it hits up against that. It's all like airtight kind of thing. Okay, so now I bought this type of thing, guys. See? Like that. So that, well, I got a little board. So that's gonna go right here like so. And then that's gonna go on there like that. And then I'm gonna drill a hole in there. So that way, basically, this door and that door are gonna have like a locking thing up top. So you can basically close this door first, lock that, right and then close the other door from the outside and there is going to be a lock mechanism which we're going to install next so i'm going to go ahead and install uh that thing there drill the hole and there drill the hole okay so now see you go like this close this so that door is secure okay let's go on the outside Okay, so then we close the second door. Perfect. So now, right here, just above the screws, guys, I got this kind of thing, see? So that's gonna go there. And this is gonna go there. And there's gonna be a, a lock, right? So the only thing we gotta do now is, see how it's uneven here? So I'm gonna grab a grinder and I'm gonna cut the appropriate amount out. Like I'm gonna cut this hump out. Let me do that, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what I'm cutting out. Just like that, I'm using my angle grinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Okay, see, so there it is cut out, just like that. So now, uh, remember earlier, we had the angle flashing, right? So I got a little piece of that. And all we're gonna do with this is we're gonna tuck it in like this to make it look nice. See? So we're gonna put one there and we're gonna put one there the exact same way. Pretty straightforward. A couple drywall screws there to attach it, cut the excess off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so there it is, nicely attached. So now this whole thing, right? It's just gonna go on like this. Boom, and a lock. Okay, so you go like this. Boom. All right, guys, check out our nice, beautiful doors. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're actually gonna step away from the doors. We're taking a break from them. There is a few more things we gotta do, so I'll get back to the doors later. We're gonna focus on the roof now. So this area, this area, and all the sides, 
the back and that side. So remember this metal flashing guys from Home Depot? Well, unfortunately guys, Home Depot is out of this stuff. It won't be in for a few more days. So just pretend we're using this. So what I bought is I bought this stuff. It's almost the same. This is two inches. It's an inch uh, and a half this way. And it's got like a bend like that to it. So I'm actually gonna have to flatten it out. See, so it's like this, but this is gonna be the exposed side. So just pretend I'm using this guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these pieces, ready them so they're straight. And I'll show you where we're putting these. Okay guys, see I flattened it out. Unfortunately, I had to do that because I'm not waiting a week for these to come in. This thing's getting done. So that is just gonna go up there. Let me show you. See guys, just like this. And I'm gonna use a couple drywall screws to keep it on, to keep it from falling. Look how nice that looks, guys. So I got eight of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them all around, guys. Um, see you guys in about 20 minutes when these are all on. And yeah, they just tuck right under there, see? On the corner. I'll show you once it's on. All right, guys, there it is done. See how mint that looks. Look at that, guys. So yeah, um, we're gonna put the roof on now. I still have to install the rafters, but like I said, I'm waiting for my buddy to get here. So I'm actually gonna put the roof on first. It can handle the weight, no problem. The rafters are just gonna be there for when it snows a lot, guys. Okay, let's get down. Here's what it looks like from the ground. See, and I got it just underneath here. See? Looks great, guys. Looks awesome. Okay, let's get uh, putting on of the roof panels, guys. Okay, so here is my plan for the roof. I need it to be nine feet, 10 inches long. Uh, this is the other side of the roof, nine feet, 10 inches, get it? I figured out I need um, seven on each side. See, there they are, big long sheets pretty straightforward all I'm gonna do here is pull this out and starting in the middle of the roof I'm just gonna slide it on and start screwing it down guys starting in the middle just the way we did the walls if it's windy you can use these so it doesn't fly away on you before you put some screws in which is what I'm gonna do because it's a little bit windy right now the other difference too is so I'm using the same screws inch and a half the only difference is we were putting the screws in here right now you're actually gonna put it right on the peak. Right in the middle like this. That's where they go. Um, okay, I'm gonna throw this up and then I'll show you guys like where to put the screws and stuff. Pretty straightforward. Okay, see there it is. So now what I gotta do is, see I know where the center of the roof is. See right there, that is my center. So off of this board here, I'm gonna line this roof up. So this thing is perfect. Um, I still have to decide on how much overhang I want. I think that's too much. So I'm gonna go up there, figure all this out and let you guys know. Okay, so I'm at the peak of the roof here. See, so on this side, I can center it off of here. So I can get this pretty much bang on. So all I got left now is to decide the overhang. And obviously if this is the center, right? I need to leave a little, like, I don't want to cut anything. So I just got to have enough here so I can fit the other side. And there's a tiny little space. There will be a cap on the roof later, guys. Okay, I'm going to go figure this out. Okay, guys, I got this thing centered. It's perfect. Remember, the first piece is the most important part. So that way it's straight at the ends. Uh, so the overhang. I got two and a half inches of overhang. Um, all right, so now, basically, it's gonna get one screw. See all the, the boards, right, that are running across? So it's gonna get screws on every single board, and you're putting it in the middle of the board on every single hump here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Um, on this side, don't put this one in yet 
till you slide your other piece under and then you put that in these ones you're good to go and same with this put your piece over top and then put the screw in so basically i'm going to do these three right now guys and don't forget to subscribe by the way i need subscribers okay i am up here guys and look at this i got a little bit carried away so you can walk on this i took my shoes off so i wouldn't scratch it see we're just gonna put bolts in so basically i'm gonna put everything on uh, and the end pieces that are gonna stick out i'm also gonna put those on but only i'm only gonna use like two screws so i can mark them and then take them down and cut them so that's the only thing so I'm basically going to put everything on right now, guys. Really nothing to it. Yeah, this is so straightforward to me. But see, I measured out five feet. So then I just measure each one so I can get the bolts in perfectly lined up. You get what I'm saying? You could run a chalk line as well, but I'm just using my tape here. All right, guys. So we got everything on. Um, so I got the two last pieces on. Okay, let me go underneath and show you because we got to cut these now all right guys so we got two and a half inches here right and over here i'm gonna do two inches overhang in the front just two and i mean this thing worked out so perfect so i am just gonna cut it right on this both of them it, it worked out so straight so see that way i know where to cut it so i'm gonna cut it right on this line here so i'm gonna take these down i'm gonna cut them both and then you've seen me cut you've seen me put these on but one thing you haven't seen me do is make a nice super clean end so i will cut this and then i'll show you how to make the end really nice and then i'm gonna put all four on and then i'll show you pretty much the whole garage but we still gotta wrap up the doors and the rafters inside okay so here it is all nice and cut and as you can see it's a pretty good cut but there's a little bit of shavings there so i just got some 40 good sandpaper and all you do is you just go like this there now it's absolutely smooth and perfect so that's another trick here guys okay guys the roof is done looking pretty sweet um i was short a few screws so i'm gonna have to buy more screws um i left myself with a few because now we got to put the cap on the roof so i'm gonna show you how to do that guys so when i was putting in the bolts right the ones that go in these two rows i didn't put any because the cap's got to go on and then the bolts are gonna go in okay guys so i got a one big giant piece left there it is my last piece so it's just over uh, 10 feet long so i'm actually using this for the cap so out of this i can make two cap pieces unfortunately it's going to be quite a bit of cutting so i gotta cut it right here and right here see that will be one piece and then i gotta do the exact same thing here i gotta cut it there and there makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and cut that and then i'll have two really long pieces for the cap all right guys uh here we are nice pieces made okay let's bring these up top and put them on all right guys so here is the top piece obviously you gotta center it like I just did, see? And then you're gonna put your screws, see this is where they are, right? So you're just gonna put them there, like there, 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 there. And same thing on the other side, guys. So that is how you cap it. And then the next piece, you just overlap it. And that's it, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap this roof right now. Okay, guys, the roof is done check it out i am about 40 screws short so i am missing a few in the rows as you can see but i will get those tomorrow i'm super happy with that guys let's move on 
Okay, check out how nice that looks from down here. See, look at that. You got just the right amount sticking out. Everything's looking super good, roof-wise and trim-wise. Very, very nice. Very, very clean. Very, very awesome, guys. Okay, let's move on. All right, guys, we are in our nice brand new carport slash garage, ready to do the rafters. And I have a helper here, my friend Ryan, taking care of business as always, guys. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so this is what I got. I got eight of these. These are 16 feet long, two by fours, eight of them. So what we're gonna do guys is I'm gonna grab a measuring tape, right? There it is. And I'm gonna measure 16 feet and I'm gonna mark the centers on all of these just with a pencil, right? So I know where the center is. And what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna attach them right up there. We're gonna attach them. We're only doing four on each side. So we're gonna put one there, one there, one there, one there. We're not gonna do one in the middle because we got a post there. And then on this side, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'll show you exactly how to do that, guys, right now. A little extra support. And yeah, guys, th that is for extra support when the snow comes and there's like, you know, five tons of snow on this roof. It, nothing's gonna happen here, guys. I have a ridge beam. I got a post in the middle and we're gonna have rafters like this, this is overkill as far as snow doing things the right way the first time okay guys so i got ryan holding it see there's the line in the middle so we know where the middle is so he's gonna hold it and i'm gonna go up on a ladder see and i'm gonna screw it in there and screw it in there pretty straightforward uh let's do that guys and if you ever need a good stretch before the gym, guys, I got one good for the shoulders, the arms, maybe a couple other things. Okay, guys, just so everybody knows what's going on. See, so I got it there. Runs across to there. So I'm going to do that with my buddy Ryan here to all of these. I'll see you guys in about 10, 20 minutes. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side, guys. Pretty straightforward. And that prevents, if there's lots and lots of weight on there, on the roof it prevents the walls from buckling out right that's what that's for and then we have this ridge beam which this is just overkill like i said so and there's a stripper pole in the middle a little bit of pole dancing tonight guys all right guys so that is what that looks like see what i mean boom 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 got the same thing happening on this side looking pretty good guys okay let's move on there's one more wood thing we're gonna do in here we're gonna get back to that let's move on to the doors okay so you may have noticed that there is a gap between the doors and the ground there is a reason for that it's because when it snows uh you get you know a foot of snow you're not going to be able to open your doors so the doors are higher off the ground but what we're going to do now is we're going to fill that gap with let me show you Plus this way, you know, it looks really nice from the outside. Everything's straight. Okay, let me show you. See guys, I got this like rubber mat, which will be perfect for this. So I'm gonna cut the right size slits and I'm gonna screw them on the inside of the doors. And those are gonna go right to the ground. So that way if there's snow or ice, it's just gonna bend over top when you open the doors, but it'll hang down so you won't get stuff blowing in. Pretty straightforward. All right, guys, see, I just screwed it on like that. That is perfect. So now the second thing I'm doing, guys, is, so I made these things. See, I bought some of this stuff, welded it there, and then I put in two uh, things like that into the wood and a hook, right? So now this goes in here. See, and it hangs like that. So you can close your door, lock it up, and you're good to go. But if you want to open it and you don't want the wind to catch it, see, I put a cinder block in the ground there, which I'm going to bury. See, then you go like this, unhook that, boom. And now your door is secure. 
and it's not gonna get caught by the wind. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all the doors. See you guys in 20 minutes. Okay guys, check it out. The doors are done. Everything's looking incredible in here. So now we have one last piece of wood we need to put on. And then we're gonna reveal this whole garage, guys. So what I'm doing is, here, let me sneak up here. See up here? So I got four long two by fours. And all we're gonna do is just to distribute the weight. So when there's tons and tons of snow on this thing, um, you don't want all the weight just sitting on that tippy little corner there, see? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a board and go all the way from there all the way to there and attach it like this see and attach it right to the wall with some uh, construction screws and then these kind of sit on the board as well it, it takes some of the load off the tips guys and that is the last piece of woodworking we're doing so i'm going to quickly put these on and then i'm going to reveal this thing to you guys because it's all done and it only took me five days all right guys here it is all finished how beautiful and solid looking is that unreal guys let's pop open the doors i'll show you inside check it out guys two cars fit in this thing no problem whatsoever finally my cars are safe for the winter guys look at this guys i got ladders on the walls wheelbarrow i got some stuff up there this thing is looking mint. If you guys like this and something like this, or perhaps a smaller one like this, guys, or just a cube looking one like this, guys, subscribe to this channel, guys. Please do. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a like. Thanks for watching. Till next time, everybody.